Mount Street. Uh, I noticed uh, that, uh, in my opinion, I guess, on Plum Street, I think that uh, that those speed bumps are really hurting those businesses and the, the traffic in the home street. In my opinion, I think they should be removed. And then we monitor it for maybe six months or so, so and see what happens. I think it'll really open up that street a whole lot of those speed bumps on the road because I, I'm sure that um, like most of you, I know I avoid going down Plum Street as much as possible. So I'm sure uh, potential uh, business owners, uh, and there's a new business down there, I'm sure that probably hurting that business when people come down there once, they probably don't return. So you have to consider that for next week. And we'll go from there. I was uh, hoping Mike would be I'm tax and scratch my face, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't do it for that reason. It, 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 I will say this: it probably what what y'all aren't seeing is it at night time because Plum Street, Major Place, yeah. the, the traffic between there is all the night businesses, the bars, mm -hmm. and there is a a lot more pedestrian traffic back on that street during those hours than what y'all probably don't even view for business hours, normal business hours of the day. Um, I know for a fact the ones on Bakery Place need to stay. Yeah, definitely. Because there's, yeah. there's probably several people that are still alive because of those speed bumps. Yeah, I would need to consider it. But, but it, it serves the same purpose, just not as much import as on um, Bakery Place, but it does the same thing on Plum Street for people leaving that way on foot. Um, but at the same time, uh, what you're saying is about the point, but um, I'm not. To pull yeah. work in. So I'm, just, I'm just saying that might be something that y'all haven't thought about. Because it does, it does slow down vehicular traffic as well. On Plum, you know, we have a lot more pedestrians out there during the daylight. Like Twilight hours. Something to consider. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. Like I said, not something I insist that we do. Yeah, like, like you said, yeah, I, I did want to just monitor and, and, and take over for Scott. Just, I mean, the other Scott. <laughs> um, just as a, a general question, what type of cost do you think, if any, would we incur by removing those speed bumps? And would we have to put possibly a little patch in the holes? Do you think? I'd have to look and see how they're mounted. I'm okay. pretty sure some type of camera screw is probably put down in the asphalt, but that's nothing more than putting some patch and dig them. But I mean, I can take a look at it also. All right. I'd just like to kind of know what what our cost would be as, as far as that in your estimate. You're just yes, sir. To have for consideration. Yes, sir. I'll have that for you one day. All right. Mm -hmm.